Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out the Surface Book 2, but specifically the pen experience with the Surface Book 2. And the star of this whole pen experience video is going to be the latest Microsoft Surface Pen as of this video, the Surface Pen from 2017. I'm aware that many other third-party styluses work with the Surface Book 2, but we're not going to look at any of them, because honestly, if you have a Microsoft Surface, you might as well use the Surface Pen. Arguably, the best pen experience you're going to get with a Surface Book 2, or really any of today's latest Microsoft Surfaces, is going to be with the Surface Pen. I understand that this pen is priced at quite a premium compared to other good and inexpensive third-party styluses, but there's actually a lot to like about the 2017 Surface Pen, other than just it being the recommended first-party option for Surfaces. So let's talk for a moment. The 2017 Surface Pen is going to offer you this, amazing build quality, very good battery life, a pressure sensitive tip, a programmable eraser button, and a side button that mimics a right click in most cases. The build quality is pretty great. It's got a magnesium alloy casing, not an aluminum one, so holding it in your hand is really something special. And also, this thing's battery powered. It takes quadruple A batteries and has an amazing battery life. It'll definitely last you at least a year or two. The 2017 Surface Pen has a pressure-sensitive interchangeable tip. Nothing new there, but something that is new is the pen's increased pressure sensitivity levels. It supports up to 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it really makes a difference when writing or drawing compared to the last generation Surface Pen, which only supports 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity. Also as an added bonus, this newer pen supports tilt input as well. The pen's got two buttons. One of them is a side button that usually mimics a right click, as far as I know, and as for the other button, you get a programmable eraser button at the very top of the pen. Now, I'm not going to cover the eraser button in a lot of detail because there is a great amount of customization options, but basically you can customize the functionality of this eraser button in settings, under devices, and then under pen and windows ink. And over there, you can set the eraser button to open specific apps or certain windows features of your choice. I do use the eraser buttons functionality very often, and I honestly find it to be extremely convenient. Also, keep in mind that the eraser button, unlike the pen tip, is not pressure sensitive. Alright, enough about the pen itself, here's my experience with this thing. So many have been asking me things like, uh, how's the latency of the pen? How's usability on a daily basis? What's it like drawing with your Surface Pen? You know, stuff like that. And I'd like to say right off the bat that usability on a daily basis is absolutely realistic. It's totally practical. I've got the 15 inch Surface Book 2 and I've got to say that writing and drawing on this thing is a blast. There's lots of space for taking notes, for writing lots of things down in one lengthy sitting, and for drawing on digital art programs. So the pen experience overall is a very comfortable one. Uh, one thing though, I do find myself feeling a little bit awkward when I like try to draw or write something down on my 15 inch Surface Book 2 at certain kinds of public spaces. For example, when I'm sitting at a table at Starbucks or something, maybe that's just me, and I think that's just due to the fairly large size of this laptop. But with the awkwardness overlooked, I never feel totally uncomfortable writing with the Surface Pen. Really, the pen experience itself is very, very natural feeling once you get used to certain aspects of the pen itself, such as uh, getting used to the Surface Pen Eraser after using a traditional pencil eraser literally your entire life. Like, sometimes you'll find yourself looking for eraser dust. It's actually pretty funny. It shouldn't take long to get used to writing digitally on the Surface Book 2 using the Surface Pen, so once you do get used to it, all the power literally rests in your own fingertips. Now in terms of the 2017 Surface Pen's latency, that's kind of hard for me personally to precisely measure and get real data on, but from what I can observe, the Surface Pen is pretty performant. Compared to the last generation Surface Pen, the Surface Pen from 2015, I'm definitely seeing drastic improvements here in terms of input precision and processing speed. I've noticed that I'm still getting a little bit of jitter at times when drawing with the newer Surface Pen, but the improvements are there and the jitter shouldn't be as bad as it was with the first generation Surface Book and its pen. So in a nutshell, this is still a comfortable writing and drawing experience, and it's even better now in this generation of the family of Surface Books because the hardware and software is much improved. 
So here's a recap of everything with some additional final thoughts. Again, the Surface Book 2 pen experience is great. I wholeheartedly believe that Microsoft has nailed the pen experience with their devices because it's just such a natural and versatile experience that can really help to unleash anyone's true creative potential. The 2017 Surface Pen has two buttons, with one of those buttons being an eraser, and the pen tip is great. You can change the tips, it supports pen tilt, and it's supporting up to 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. That alone is better than pretty much every third-party stylus and even last generation's Surface Pen. Heck, if you even think about it, it's even better than the Apple Pencil on paper, in the sense that the Apple Pencil only supports up to 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity. That may change in the future if a new Apple Pencil comes out, but for the time being, the 2017 Surface Pen is equipped with much nicer technology on paper, and that's a steal for people like me. The Surface Book 2 has 13-inch and 15-inch configurations, and no matter what Surface Book 2 you get, the writing experience will be top-notch and very premium feeling. If you do get the 15-inch configuration though, you might feel that awkwardness once in a while. You know, the one I mentioned a little while ago? You might feel that. And it's probably because of the sheer massiveness of the laptop's form factor. I mean, if you detach the display, you literally have a 15-inch tablet, so keep that in mind. But once you overcome the awkwardness and figure things out, you can really do some amazing stuff with this laptop. If you're a student looking for a premium 2-in-1 laptop for class, or you're someone doing some sort of architectural work, designing, creating charts, and sketching models or concept art or whatnot, then the pen experience with the Surface Book 2 is pretty nice for your workflow. For artists, and keep in mind, I'm no professional artist whatsoever, so taking these final thoughts lightly or heavily, it's completely up to you. I think that this device is spoiling you quite a bit. I mean, you get a 13 or 15 inch display alongside one of the best active styluses on the market. Most hobbyist artists can't even afford a super expensive laptop with on-screen pen support. And on the other side of things, most professional artists are probably going to prefer all-in-one PCs with a color accurate display that supports the DCI-P3 color gamut. I mean, why get this laptop solely for the pen experience when there are other PCs like that, right? but coming from someone who's both a student and a hobbyist artist that uses the Surface Book 2 and the Surface Pen as they were intended to be used, I think that this pen experience is absolutely unparalleled. And I could probably say that about the pen experience with the 2017 Surface Pro as well, but that's for another time. Again, Microsoft nailed the pen experience with their devices, and when you put into consideration the fact that this laptop was made to do literally everything a person could possibly need or want to do in his or her life, it's really hard to think of a good Surface Book 2 alternative without pointing out compromises. This is the ultimate laptop, and it's got the ultimate pen experience. Take my word for it. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you found it useful. Drop a like if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it. My time is up, so I'll see you guys again in my next video.